Hello everybody, Robert Breaker today out in the woods. We're in the state forest here in Florida. Got my King James Bible only shirt on, amen? And I actually have on as well my snake pants. These got extra heavy duty material just in case, just in case uh, there's a snake. You can kind of see the sign in the background there. And uh, we're gonna take a walk today through the woods and hopefully we'll have a good time. This is a, uh, oh, what do you call this? Horse trail, I believe this is a horse trail that I'm walking on. It kind of looks like a road back here, but this is the, the forest, as you can see the sign there over my, my back. So let's start today in the book of Revelation. We're gonna go to the book of Revelation and uh, we're gonna start in Revelation chapter one. And I'm gonna have to do this all one-handed. <laughs> So it's kind of hard to do. But in Revelation chapter 1, we're going to start there today. Revelation 1. I've got to figure out how I'm going to be able to do this and hold the camera steady and all that at the same time. Revelation chapter 1. And we're going to start today in verse 18. Revelation 1, 18 and 19. I'm going to have to stop and find a place to sit down in order to do this. Or maybe I can hold it this way. Okay. Revelation 1, 18 and 19. And it says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of death and hell. Now that's, of course, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The things which shall be hereafter. When I read that, I thought, man, the things that will be hereafter. Now, of course... That shows us that the book of Revelation is written about future things. It's not past. You know, I have some people out there that are called preterists. And they say, oh, the book of Revelation is all about things that are already passed. No, it's still future. A lot of it is still future. So I don't understand why people don't read the Bible. It's written to show things that will happen hereafter. So it's a book of future prophecy. But um, I was reading that and I thought, hereafter. Well, what does hereafter mean? It means after. Well, here we are after COVID. So I thought I'd talk about after COVID and what it's like in the world we live in today after COVID. And is life, well, great. <laughs> A lot of people, they went through COVID and they didn't like what they went through. And to be honest with you, I don't blame them. A lot of bad stuff happened with this whole COVID thing. So here we are after COVID. Thought I'd talk about that. Did we learn anything? Now what? Now that COVID is over, now what do we do? They told us, you know, we'll get back to normal. But now they've told us it's going to be a new normal. And yet the things that we're seeing, the things that we're going through, the things that are taking place are not normal. So you've got to ask, what is this? What's going on? Let me read you something here in the Old Testament, Leviticus chapter 26. And in Leviticus chapter 26, we read this. I'm going to have to use my leg too, probably, to find verses. It's hard to walk and talk and read Bible verses at the same time uh, and chew gum. <laughs> I had to spit my gum out earlier. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 21. Leviticus 26, 21. I'm going to read Leviticus 26, 21 through 24 for you. And of course, the wind is blowing, blowing all my pages all over the place. But oh, well, I guess I can live with it. Leviticus 26, 21 says, and remember, this is God speaking to Israel, to the Jews in the Old Testament. I think I'll sit down here and this will be easier. And God said, look, if they don't do right and don't live right and don't follow God in the Bible like they're supposed to, God says, guess what? I'm going to send you some plagues. Well, God did that. God did send some plagues to Israel. And this is Old Testament, of course, but it's a good, um, I think, illustration of what God will do today if we forget God. A lot of people in this whole COVID thing have looked to God and said, hey, maybe I should start reading the Bible. Maybe I should start learning about God because it's starting to look like end times. And, and that's correct. It is. But look at this, what it says here. Have we turned to God and are we going to stick with God after COVID? Well, already some of the restrictions are gone and things like that. And already people are turning away from God. And I find that sad. Leviticus 26, 21 says, 
and if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Hmm, seven times more. Was COVID a plague? Yeah, it sounds like it. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if you will not be reformed by me, the Lord is speaking, by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then will I also walk contrary unto you and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. This immediately made me think of what it says in the book of Revelation. And it talks about the seven angels with the seven plagues. And we know that the, the book of Revelation talks about after the rapture of the seven year tribulation. Seven times, a time, a time, and a half a times will be the last three and a half years. So God is telling them in the Old Testament, hey, you know, you went through a plague. If you don't hearken unto me and do what I say and return to me, then I will go ahead and give you some more plagues. Please, Lord, no, please. We don't want any more COVID. We don't want any of the restrictions and all that came with it. We're done with that. Please let it be over. Well, do you realize that according to the Bible, it's all determined upon what you do with God? A lot of people have given up on God. A lot of people have turned from God. A lot of people have followed man instead of God. And so uh, we got to be careful. We need to put the Lord first and trust him. So what's life going to be like after COVID? That's a good question. Well, if you want to find out, then I guess you'll have to click below and watch the rest of this sermon because this is as far as I'm going on uh, some channels. But on other channels, I'm going to go a little deeper into detail. We look at some more scripture and I'm going to ask a couple more questions. So come on over to the other one as well. We'd love to see you there. Love to have you listen to the rest of the sermon. So click below on the link and then watch the rest of this.